So, okay, it also went on the curb. It wanted to make a right turn, but it has its left blinkers on. Hey everyone, just another Tesla guy here today. Back at again, testing full cell driving. I just got an update to version 12.3.3. And also, um, it's no longer beta. It's no longer beta. It's full self driving 12.3.3 supervised. So we'll see how this supervised uh, software does here today. So I'm heading to get, pick up some dinner and then coming back home here. And yeah, giving a test. All right, engaging full self driving now. Uh, let me make the wipers a bit faster. And also let's turn on minimal lane change. That setting was not fixed. I've seen some really good refinements with 12.3 on the streets. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it below the like button. All right, let's go. Press the left turn. It slows down for these cars. Great. Let's go. All right, it's turning. Right, applying force on the steering wheel. I wonder if there's any training on these videos where people, where we tell Tesla to take the shoulder and it turned its wheel to avoid that car that's passing on the shoulder, which is great. And I just wonder if there's any videos that Tesla gives to uh, version 12 for training and if they've seen people passing on the shoulder, would full cell driving do that? Probably not. here it went for the middle lane and then it signal sorry it moved over to the left lane and then signal so let's see if this update fixes that or will the same thing still happen take the left lane all right so that fixes that and the other one is that it went a little bit too close to the curb when it was making a left turn right here. So we'll see if that happens again today. And that car went on the curb. And this does, okay, it also went on the curb. But that car, that car in front was a little bit worse. It went entirely onto the curb. This one, the back, we went on the curb. So uh, let's see, I'll disengage and just flag that. Full self-driving went on the curb. All right, and then re-engage full self-driving. I was pointing out that car went on the curb and also driving did the same thing, just not as bad. But compared to the previous build where it will almost crash into it, um, improvement, I would say, but past version, I know version 11 was able to make that turn perfectly fine. So I'm not sure why it, it did worse with version 12. I wonder if this truck is scaring it. This is pretty close to that truck. So I did disengage. Press, press on the brake because this truck is going a little too close. I wonder if that's why it didn't move over. And I can barely see. So I'm, dri I'm driving right now. Um, I press brake. Disengage because that truck was a little too close. And let's see if full cell driving works. Okay. It does work. It does slow down a little bit. So let me speed it back up. Alright, so one disengagement. Um, it's a rainy day. Trucks factored in for me to disengage. I probably, the car probably would have stopped anyway for the car, but natural instincts to 
over and I disengage. right here is exit 9 is an exit ramp with two lanes on the left lane is if you're going east on the right lane is if you're going west if I'm going west the car full self driving will take the exit if I'm going east it always seems to just drive past the exit and not take it despite the map saying that it should take it and let's see if 12.3.3 uh, right make sure I got it correct yeah, it should be 12 that three and it doesn't want to take it oh it does nope took it way too late it hesitated um it might have it seemed like it did not want to take it at that last minute so i disengaged and took it with the blinkers on so it did turn on its blinkers it didn't turn on its blinkers so i guess that's a good part but way too late to take it uh, I feel like we had plenty of time earlier should have taken it all right let's engage uh, full self driving right here Again, great, very uh, human like. Did not slam on the brakes seeing this car right here. That's great. So we can go here, and it doesn't choose us to go here. It goes the side, goes through the roundabouts. When we can take the lane on the right side. Get the right away and it goes right exactly perfect left turn here slow down right here as these cars pass Applying the force. Pulling at the speed limit of 15. Okay, weird that it just went straight into turning. It's, what are you, ugh, that's so weird. That was so weird. That car behind me probably climbed crazy. Um, but it, it was supposed to make a left turn. It had on its left blinkers, but it rerouted because it missed the turn, I'm guessing, and it had to go right. It wanted to make a right turn, but it has its left blinkers on. Uh, not sure why that's the case here, but we're in a parking lot. Parking lot is not the best. So, um, whatever. But, um, okay. Not, not, I don't think there's any improvement with that, with, uh, 12.3.3 versus the other build earlier. Um, it still had those same minor annoyances. A little bit too slow. Almost wanted to curb. It did curb actually. It missed the exit at exit nine, so um, that's all I see. I don't not any improvements, but I'm sure there will be some. I just need a little bit more testing. But yeah, let me know what you think about this drive down in the comments below. All right, thanks for watching this one.
Bye for now.